Thank you very much. Very excited to be here. Let's start with something over here, an uh, empty envelope, right? As a matter of fact, uh, would you be so kind just go ahead and check that that is an empty envelope and pull the tab off from the top and seal that envelope. Be sure that there's no way I can go inside of the envelope or anything like that. You over here on this side, you're in charge to see that. You got it? You're in charge that nobody comes over here from the side and like does something to it, okay? It's the ending of my whole talk. I'm res you're responsible for this. <laughs> Simplicity is an illusion. That's a re really serious statement I just made there, right? <laughs> Let me explain. Everything that is around us has the ability to create a s sort of sense of frustration whenever we're trying to create something simple. And that's because those things are final results, and we're trying to emulate those. We never actually learn about the process behind them, the ideas, the innovations, the thoughts that come together to make it. We only witness it as a, as a final product. Now, I don't think that we're, we're supposed to know that process. Like, for example, whenever you use your, your cell phone, you serve the internet, you use it to send a text message, all the while, you're not thinking about touchscreen technology, right? I mean, some guy was losing sleep over that at one point, trying to make it, right? Because you're not supposed to. You, you use it as a cell phone. But it's a good thing to know that there's a process behind things, because otherwise it would lead us to believe that simple things are created singularly and with ease. Now, a magician, and according to the intro, that's what I am, <laughs> understands this topic very well, especially that whole part about you not knowing the process and how it's done. Uh, and there's a reason for that. One of them is because we make it look so simple, when reality magic is just a very complicated art form. It really is. A sleight of hand, too. The final product that we present, the final thing that we present to our audiences never has that process in your minds, or is substituted for something that helps in the creation of that simple and great moment of astonishment. So why don't I just show you what I mean? Um, in the black over here, third person, what is your name? Jessica. Jessica. Um, I have a deck of cars. All the cars are completely different. Yeah? Go ahead and say stop anytime you want. There, the two of spades. Can you guys in the back, in the balcony, see that? Actually, could you join me on stage for a moment? <laughs> Give Jessica a big round of applause as she makes her way over here to the stage. <laughs> Thank you very much for coming over here. Go ahead and stand over here for me, and we'll we'll tear apart this playing card. Try to make it a little bit interesting there. Okay. We're going to add a little bit of that tip, OK? That extra little piece. Actually, it might come off. Go ahead and keep that little piece. Can you see that? I haven't torn it all the way. It's still hanging? Yes. Go ahead and you take that part. Mm -hmm. put it, go ahead and the, 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 pick it up. <laughs> 52 car pickup. You're picking up the deck. I'm not doing it. <laughs> go ahead and take that corner off, just the corner, uh-huh. All right, and go ahead and keep that as a, just as, as a receipt kind of thing. Show it to the people in the balcony. You guys can see that from the, from the back over there? All right, we're going to do some magic now, something simple. Sleeves up, everything OK? No mirrors, no smoke. You forgot the mirror. <laughs> just kidding with me. Can you guys on the back see that? The two of spades, we put it in the hand just like this. <laughs> Thank you. It's not in the sleeve, of course. Sleeves are up. It's not on the top. A lot of people think that it's on the top. It's nowhere in the deck whatsoever. And that's because it has made its way to that envelope. <laughs> yeah. I, I made the trick, I know. <laughs> if it's not there, I'm going to freak out a lot. It's, 
This is gonna be like magician failure at TED. You still got that? Actually, you know what? If you were to open that envelope, you would take it out and you would actually find the card in there. The, what was it? The two of spades. I forgot what it was. The two of spades will be in there. Actually, why don't you stand right next to that? Don't open it yet. You see, most of the time, this will be the part of, in the show where I would just make it disappear and appear over there. That's simple. But for it to be that simple, I had to first learn how to make a card disappear. Very easy task, right? <laughs> and I learned that when I was in junior high from this book. There's literature in magic. <laughs> this was published in 1934. I read it when I was in junior high. This goes, the technique goes way beyond this, beyond 1934. Then, of course, the, the idea of tearing the playing card, tearing a piece of it, it goes back to the 19th century. Magicians were doing that. Actually, it's part of the history of card magic to tear up a card. And we did that. And then the envelope, of course. Well, that's just a regular envelope, but I had to go buy it, <laughs> get in the car, spend money. You see where I'm going with this? And then make it appear. A lot of magicians have come up with ideas of how to make a playing card appear. In, a, in, in any place, any location, there's a lot of that in the literature and the heritage of magic. You learn a lot of those different ways, and the way I'm doing it, it's just magic. <laughs> then, of course, once you have all of those things together, the components, you have to go out and perform it, test it out, polish it. Show after show, year after year. <laughs> Just complete failure at some of these. Actually, I fell off the stage on this one. That's not a joke. <laughs> Any of my friends watching this on the video will remember that, because I still have knee problems. It was terrible. <laughs> but you know what? The car did make it over there. I get credit for that. Of course, then it made it all the way into my live show, the actual show that I do for my clients now. And that takes you know, all the process of polishing it taking away all the unnecessary things just to make a playing card jump from that side of the stage to this side of the stage. All of that in the history of magic. Go ahead and take the envelope out, off. Go ahead and you see it. Uh, turn it around. There's a line over there. Go ahead and tear that in half. Here, I'll help you out. You watch me very closely. <laughs> go, I, go, I'll take it. Okay, I'm not doing anything with that corner, right? Looks like it hurt the envelope. Uh huh. Here, go ahead and hold that. You'll need this in a moment. There's a playing card inside now. It's missing a corner. <laughs> it's exactly the two of spades. Does it match? Let's show that to everybody over here. It's a perfect match right there. Can you guys see that from the balcony over there? And that is. Thank you very much for your help. I appreciate that. Thank you. Jessica, everyone. Now remember, thank you. Now remember when you're trying to create something, that behind every simple thing, there's an enormous complexity that surrounds it. And the final results are always great. Thank you.